Well, for those who need to keep up with physical therapy right now, social distancing and stay home orders uh, can seriously start to stress some people out. Yeah, people really rely on physical therapy, but you know, one clinic is finding ways to ensure its patients keep up with their routines. To talk more about that this morning, we have Mike Teeter, the clinical director of physical in Camus. Good morning, Mike. Good morning. Good morning. So tell us about the new way that you guys are seeing patients. Yeah. So for over the for about the last month, uh, we had to close our clinic down to in clinic uh, visits about a month ago. Uh, we've transitioned over to uh, virtual therapy. And so uh, basically what virtual therapy is, is like a, a FaceTime or a Skype call. And we just do video appointments, uh, live video appointments with our with our patients. So you're still able to, to see those patients and, and check in with them as they're going through some exercises. Do they need any special equipment at home for these virtual visits? Have you had to set anybody up in a special way? No, I mean, one of the, the neat things about doing the virtual uh, appointments is that you're really able to see what people have at home and you can customize the home program uh, to fit with what they have at their disposal already. Oh, okay. And so I would assume this is like beneficial for patients, maybe even beyond filling their physical therapy needs, because it just seems like everyone's so socially isolated right now. Yeah, uh, you know, a lot of patients really appreciate the opportunity to check in with us, uh, you know, because they're not getting an opportunity uh, to engage uh, with other people as much as they would like to, for sure. Uh, but then also we can really help a lot to provide them solutions to keep them on track with their physical therapy program. Uh, help them uh, figure out solutions to manage their pain better, uh, keep them on track towards their physical therapy goals. And we even have the opportunity to do, to see new patients, uh, you know, uh, and get them started on the road to recovery and, and help them understand, you know, what's going on with them and what they can do to get better. Yeah, why is it so important for people to be keeping up with physical therapy right now while we're staying at home? I'm sure some people think like, well, I'm home, I'm not as active as I was, I'm mm -hmm. not going into my work site or my job every day. Uh, but I think right now, even more than ever, it could be really dangerous to, to not keep up with some of that recovery. Yeah, you know, a lot of people when they have, you know, uh, pain or an injury or something crop up and, and they don't really understand what's going on with them, uh, you know, that can really escalate uh, your pain experience and really affect, uh, you know, get people to worry a lot about about what might have have been the source of these symptoms that they're experiencing. Uh, and you know, without access to physical therapy, these are people that may end up, you know, go seeking care in the emergency room or urgent care or somewhere where, you know, there's more potential for exposure. And so, being able to have access to physical therapy just through your computer or mobile device is a great way for them to. For us to identify the, what's going on with their symptoms and then and then help them understand it and what they need to do to, to feel better. Yeah, and with some of your older patients especially, have they adapted to the technology um, that this requires to, to do? Yeah, no, absolutely. Um, I've had people of all ages, um, you know, 70s, 80s, uh, 90s, you know, where uh, I'm able to just send them a text message. As soon as they click the link, we're connected. And so it's super easy. Uh, you know, if there's any issues, I can do a phone call, you know, walk them through it. Uh, if they don't have mobile device technology, we can do it through their email and their computer. So, uh, yeah, everybody that I've worked with uh, has been able to get connected. And, and I've probably been seeing, you know, uh, at least 25 people a week uh, since that time. So Yeah, you guys have become IT specialists in addition to PT <laughs> specialists. So, hey, Mike, I know you're yeah. in Camas, but is this available at all locations? Uh, yeah, so uh, as far as, you know, each location specific, uh, you know, each clinic, uh, physical therapy clinic that's out there, um, I'm not, I, I doubt that all of them are doing the virtual therapy, uh, but there's a lot of resources and opportunities for any clinic to be able to implement virtual therapy for sure. Okay, well, Mike Teeter, thank you so much for joining us. And we'll have more information about the virtual therapy program from physical on coin.com. All right, okay. thank you.